It's a new dawn, it's a new day, chat. We're back in the world of Satisfactory on our, on our little YouTube save. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking with 100 biddies. Oh, my God. The big banana. <laughs> hey, Mikael, how you doing, man? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So last time, we was working on this, wasn't we? We was bringing in the iron into here. The iron was being crushed. In here, the crushed iron then goes upstairs towards the blast furnace. The blast furnace then turns it into molten iron. The molten iron then goes up to the floor where it'll then need to be in the liquefier. Is it liquefier? Solidifier. So we also started creating the layout of, you know, where we want kind of stirs, where we want our footpath to be, all that kind of stuff when we start working on the design kind of features. And then also, here comes the iron. Um, we're probably going to do something outside of here in regards to, like, somewhere where we can kind of land in regards to hypertubes, cannons. Um, but right now, at the end of last stream, we started working on this, right? Just to start bringing the coal up. Um, yeah, so the coal will be coming up here. Uh, and in total, we need to bring three coal up to this, uh, to this side of the building, right? Because we need it for steel. Uh, 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 Harm, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So we already know there's coal over here. Have we got the ability to scan coal now? We do. I already know there's coal over here. And I'm pretty sure we can get a maximum of two lines out of it. And it's one, two normal, one pure, right? Let's do that. Turn that on. There we go. Okay, so... Alright, it's going to be two impure, one normal, one pure, isn't it? Because these two are normally merged together. Yeah, this is impure. This is impure. And then we have a normal and pure over here, right? Does this mod change the node locations? It does not. No, no, no. All the uh, nodes stay the same. Uh, same locations. Um, they, just, they have the same purities. Uh, and all that stuff. Do you ever try truffles? That's the most random thing just to randomly ask me. But I have a truffle before. Normal, pure, and then two. Mix them two together. That's two lines. We just need to bring in one coal. Uh, cool. Uh, we just need the third line to bring in, which will be for the steel screws. If we pull up our document we've been working on, this is what we put together last stream, right? And this is just for one line of iron. And this is what this one line of iron is going to create within this production line. <clears throat> so 270 styrotite is going to make 240 crushed styrotite and crushed stone. The crushed stone merges with uh, the stone that's produced from the sorter where the 240 crushed styrotite goes to. The crushed iron... Gets made in the sorter with 120 crushed magnesium and 40 crushed stone. Like I said, the crushed stone merges with this stone to go into a storage sink. The crushed magnesium goes into some more crushers, which then makes magnesium granules, which then gets stored. 
The crushed iron then makes its way to a blast furnace where it makes molten iron and 30 molten slag. The molten iron goes into a blast furnace again, which mixed with coal and the ore collector to make molten steel. The molten slag is merged with the molten slag from the previous blast furnace, which then goes up into a fluid conditioner to make 24 CO2, 40 cold slag and 16 sulfur. They all get put into their designated buildings. The molten steel then either goes to the solidifier to make steel rods or it goes to another solidifier to make steel ingots. The steel rods go and make steel screws or the steel ingots go and make either steel beams or steel pipes. You know? <clears throat> and I watch Miriam try and get some rest. Have a great stream and I would try to be around more often. So good, uh, Tank. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your evening. And if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. <laughs> uh, have a good one. Take care of yourself. Um, okay. So that's that kind of plan, right? That's that kind of plan. Do, 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 do. So let's get the foundation of what we need to run along this riverbank here and then we can start merging the lines from the coal at least we can get the steel beams and steel pipes up and running Dun dun meow. Um, okay, so yeah, I was using this foundation, right? Oh, I can't slide jump whilst I'm in this little bit of water. You know what? I'm actually going to lift it up by one. Excuse me. Why did you start so high up with the foundations on this factory? It was to do with um, I built it all off this this right, so all of this come together. So I'm not being obstructed by any of these trees, so I don't need to cut them down or any of these rocks in the way. Uh, and then I brought it to this level. This allows me then to work upwards and then also work below when need be. Because whenever you, people design factories. They never design, they, they always forget about the room below and they always build it so close to the water or so close to the land. And then they go, oh, I wish I would have built this higher because I could have put this, this and this underneath. Plus, I want to make sure we've got water extraction under here, right? And then I also want to make sure we've got pipe logistics able to move around underneath the, the building. Basically, create, creating a basement for it, which requires all the um, water production any uh packaging any all that kind of stuff and then we could distribute that out via trains or trucks or whatever you know uh that's the only reason so what what you guys are seeing now uh is we are oh we are four videos ahead now right so the 13th so this this video has been released that video has now been released to youtube and uh the thursday video which was this one which was the steam power has now been released that come out on youtube yesterday 
So the next video is aimed for Sunday, which is the whole iron and magnesium line uh, and part of the storage room. Episode 8 is working on the top line of the uh, factory as well, where we're making lead sheets and uh, tin. And then we're currently working on episode 9 at the minute. Another message from my door. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> I mean, you being this deep into murder? It's like me saying I envy anybody that's new to playing satisfactory like vanilla to learn the whole base game again <laughs> by the way who's gonna be playing factorial 2.0 when it comes out it wasn't you I was looking at it the other day um some things they're bringing into it like spoilage I was telling Kibbs about it yesterday. The whole spoilage thing, which is a wild, wild concept, which is going to be kind of cool. <clears throat> so in the uh, in the new swamp map on uh, Factorio, you, there's, there's perishable items now that if they sit on the belt for too long, they will perish and they'll spoil. So you either have to smart filter them off the line to go into another product and you have to forcefully like spoil them or you dispose of them two point or is never as good as oh 100 100 percent uh recycling and metallurgy is bring a lot to factorio yeah yeah it's gonna be uh gonna be interesting but then the thing is as well with 2.0 coming out and all the new maps and then the new recipes and all this kind of stuff this allows you to then add well this means bobs and angel mods will get updated as well you know so it's like that's another playthrough there for you Yeah, it's going to be uh, one hell of a year and next year for factory games. We just need that next new factory game. Maybe um, some more stuff with Dyson's for you, maybe. You'll play Frostpunk 2, 100%. 100%. Um, I kept away from the beta. I got offered to play the beta. Um, and then they and then they announced... And then they released the beta. I didn't want to play it because I didn't want to spoil it too much for myself. We heard about the updates for Tectonica. I have. I've been keeping an eye on Tectonica. There's something about Tectonica right now, though, where I don't feel like the development is aimed at factory stuff. It's mainly aimed at story kind of things. And that's that's that was my big problem with Tectonica release, like the very first release. I feel like the developers were too focused on story mode than rather giving us factory log logistics and numbers. Like, to, to release Tectonica with no um, item data or all that kind of stuff. Like, 
being able to see what we're making per minute on the machines was just it's crazy to me for a factory game um i understand it's kind of in now but it's still not the same uh but to be classed as a factory game uh off the get-go is yeah you can put belts down you can mine you can do this you can do that um but i don't think they understood that a lot of factory game lovers want the analytical data of your items per minute right and all that kind of stuff um that's where the core kind of gameplay comes from and for that not being in the game when it released uh was a big big boo-boo and i even said when it released in like was it june or june, june i'm pretty sure it was june july it was june it was when uh it was when we come back from twitchcon 2022 and uh i said it'll probably die off it'll pick up straight away with all the factory game lovers and it'll probably die off by the end of august and it kind of did um let's see big number <laughs> More about making it look nice and making it look uh, efficient too, I guess, for Tetsonica. Yeah, they, they wanted... It's like there was multiple development teams working on it. One... I'd, there shouldn't have been a story. that You didn't need to bring in, like, Spark and everything and the story straight away. I feel like they need the core gameplay there, which is the factory game. The factory game is the core gameplay. It's what people enjoy about them, right? Is working out numbers, working out this, that, and, and the third. <clears throat> they don't want to know about the story straight away. That can come in as a later, as a chunks or in chapters, but not straight off the get go. I feel like it was a big, uh, it was it was a bit of an oversight, really. Hence the reason, uh, yeah. Is there a way to blueprint this corner situation so you don't have to keep doing the setup every time? Yeah, but I don't like using blueprints because if I use blueprints, people don't see how I do it, and then I get people asking, "How did you build that?" And I got to build it for them when they come in stream. So if I build it whilst I'm doing it, you know. Plus we have the clip. I think we mentioned this last stream as well. That's the reason why I don't use a lot of blueprints. Is because if I was to use a lot of blueprints, people who come into the stream, who are new to my content, will be like, wait, how did you just build that? What does this building do? And I've got to answer it every time kind of thing. So where I'd rather just build it in, in stream. Yeah, it'll take a little bit longer for me to build and progress. Uh, but at least people who are new to my content get to see why I'm building it, how I build it step by step. <coughs> Sprit Burn game. They tried both a factory and adventure game and both failed at both. Yeah, they, uh, they definitely need to work on it, for sure. It's like uh, they've just dropped an update, right, with new maps. Right, the story's not even finished, but they've released new maps. Like, it's like there's no clear direction of where the game wants to be. It's having like an identity crisis. That's my problem with uh, Tectonica right now. It doesn't know where it wants to be. It's like, has this finished? It's like the release order is all wrong. You're getting plus points from the new guy's corner for that bit. Uh, it's true. Uh, it's true. You know. Uh, side games and it's a main focus on it. You just bug me personally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Our call is over that way. Uh, that can deal with that call. Bean, what are you doing? So like with the most common questions, for example, them turns, uh, because they are a bit tedious to build, like we've got quite a few clips. Like a lot of people ask me about train signals and trains because of season two, um, about like how to, how to do train lines and train guides and signaling and what the path signals do. Uh, we kept getting like new enough asked about that about three times a stream, maybe more than that. 
So we had to create a clip, create clips and uh, YouTube videos on how to do it. So we can just link people off to that. It's the same with if you do exclamation mark curve. Uh, it's, a, it's literally a Twitch clip that will show you how to how to make them curves step by step. At one point, oh man's insane. What do you mean? He is perfectly fine. Bean is what you don't realize is Bean is the developer of this game. He's the one that makes the decisions. You know, you can't touch Bean. Bean is Bean. I love using blueprints, but I usually wind up having to rebuild them over and twice and screw them up. Yeah. Uh huh. The thing is, though, when I get my jetpack, I guarantee I can build faster than what I can do regarding blueprints. You know what I mean? I can build a system quicker than what I could if I was to blueprint it. Because all it takes, really, is... Because you, you have to make sure that with the blueprint, it's correct. And then when you go to put the blueprint down and you find out there is an error on it... It's... Uh, yeah. It's rough. Every new playthrough is a jetpack speedrun in the beginning. Yeah, hence the reason they added a uh, jetpack Johnny to the game. The jetpack hog, which you can get literally off the get-go. And if you find him, you get to keep the jetpack. You just need to make the fuel for it. Hence the reason that got in that got introduced when the uh Why don't you find Jetpack Johnny? Because we tried the other stream and we spent about three hours looking around the map for him. Couldn't find him. Can't you blueprint that turn system? Yep, but I can. we can blueprint that turn system, but uh, I don't want to. Because I'd rather build it live so then people understand how it's built. That are new to this stream. No. I'm going to find him, yeah. You get asked... Is, is, that's the thing, Phenom. I get asked so many things. Like, there's, there's so many so many times where in chat where people come in and they're like, I don't know how you can answer the same question over and over again and give the same response in the same tone without getting annoyed. And it's just a matter of, I've just got to remember that people are new to my content and have never heard me talk about it before. So I've got to treat everybody the same. You know what I mean? Hey, bitch. Uh, hey, Metro. How you doing, man? You doing good? Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Thanks, Jed. Appreciate it. That's the thing. I've never found him. We went around the whole map. We checked the majority of where the hogs spawned. And, uh... Yeah, we couldn't find him. So... It's going to be one of them kind of scenarios where when you want to find him, you won't be able to find him. 
but then you will find him when he wants you to because he'll creep up on you because most people find him with uh with just turning around and him just kind of launching at you is that right it's, it's just a it's just a look of the draw really Just a look of the draw. Come on, hog. Step out the way. Step out the way. Yes, you said with um, people are always curious of why I always use jetpack over hoverpack. Um, I can just build quicker with jetpack. The only time you'll ever see me use hoverpack is if I'm working on the underside of a building or if I'm working on something that requires me to be on the outside of a building or anything like that, you know? That's the only time you'll ever see me use a uh, hover pack as well. Veldian, good morning, man. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. And you know, to be honest, ever since biofuel got added to the jetpack, forget turbo fuel turbo fuel i i feel like is uh is uh it, it's good it gets you around quicker but having biofuel liquid biofuel as your jetpack um power source is just it's just strong it's so nice he's been on one of the cliffs around the swamp yeah some people have found him in the crater lakes some people have found him in the grasslands like Liquid biofuel is such a pain, though. What would you rather build, liquid biofuel, or would you rather build uh, turbo fuel? Because liquid biofuel, all you really need to do is if you was to put 1,000 leaves and 1,000 wood into a container, you then get that smart split. And with the how low the jetpack fuel, like, I in my Season 2 playthrough, I think I went and filled two containers one full of wood one full of leaves at least once and it covered me for about three to four hundred hours and that's with me using jetpack all the time Because if you've got a full container worth of liquid biofuel at a stack of 500. No, the stacks are 200, right? Two, no, 500. I can't remember. This needs to pull in more. Two hundred, yeah. And if you've got if you've got if you've got five stacks on you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine for at least fifty to hundred hours. And that's coming from me who uses jetpack like constantly, even just to because I'm always jumping. I don't know if you ever noticed. That's because I'm always used to you having the jetpack flying around and just having like an overview of my build and stuff. Like turbo is good and all. Like it's it's just all really a personal preference of what everybody likes. Some people like turbo fuel, some people don't. The thing with turbo fuel is well, with liquid biofuel, it gives you the control where turbo fuel just gives you speed. But if you know how to slide, jump, and then use to biofuel correctly, you'll be able to speed through it, you know? I 
Oh, you little. I'm gonna have to go up anyway. weirdest thing to ever get added to this game. Weird. Oh, it's you. You're in the way. Uh, rebalance fusing 1.0. Maybe. Oh, it's Friday. Ooh. We have a satisfactory video today, by the way. We have a video drop today. I have been informed. How long till it drops? About three, four hours. It was like an egg yolk. Yeah, yeah, it does. Usually drops about 4 p.m. Time zones, man. Time zones. Oh look, it needs to be placed on a resource node. And all you need to do is just do that. And then place it. Boop. fact as soon as we unlock steel chat we can unlock steel mining heads which will give us double production but we need to make sure we have mark 3 belts to compensate for it you know uh, I need four miners all together so I need eight Um, you're going to be coming with me. Which one are you? You're pure. That means you're normal. Yeah. The other two are impure. We'll get the two impure to merge with the normal. Uh... I would prefer it... If you was on this side. Yeah, I would prefer it if you were over there. Just because I've got the merge to come in line, right, with the uh, impure line. Got enough supplies for this, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I have started a new game with the Satisfaction Plus mode because of you. Now I'm in a situation where I wonder how the hell I'll be able to manage all the new recipes and things they added. Have you seen all the molten recipes, uh, the boost modules, etc.? Yes. Yes. We are currently building uh, molten right now, which is what we're working on here. So I use this program called Ob Obsidian, and you can make floor charts within it like this. So I'm currently working with molten iron right now in this current production line to make steel ingot, steel screws, and CO2, cold slags, and sulfur. So I'll put this together, which is for one line of 270 stereotype. And we have 10 lines of belts knocking at my factory door right now. So we've got to build this, I wouldn't say, you know, 10 times, because we're going to use three lines. We're going to use one one line of a Mark III belt to create steel ingots. We're going to use another one to make steel screws. We're going to make another one. Uh, sorry, not steel ingots. We're going to make one line to make steel beams, another line to make steel pipes, another one to make steel screws, and then another line to make iron plates, another line to make iron rods, and then the other lines can be expandable in regards to like brass and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's why I like, uh, I'm, I'm loving this, uh, this app. It's free as well. Uh, can you check that miner will give with the module a call? Wait, what do you mean that gaming? What do you mean? It's giving me call. It's not even boosted and or tier three. Yeah, I'm not even bloody. I've not even unlocked tier 3 belts yet, but I'm building in preparation for them. And same with, I'm building in preparation for tier 4 and tier 5 belts. Oh my god. I have a scrap of paper which scribbles on it. That looks like a scramble of mad mad I'm trying to do. <laughs> use that, use that uh, application that I'm using. It's a, it's a free app. I'm not even sponsored by it. Maybe I should ask them. Would you like to sponsor me? I'm, I'm, I'm promoting your, your shit. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but it's a free up, right? So. Oh, with the extra module attached, yeah. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to attach the uh, smelter onto the back of it um, because I won't get as much yield from the uh, iron as what I would if I was to put it in a production line. I feel like the the module design is if you the module attachment is there if you want to um, quickly utilize ingots into a small production building where you don't need as many. You know what I mean? What's it going to give? It just replaces the ore you're going to receive as ingots instead of... Um, what's it called? So if I was... From a normal 120 line of iron ore, I will get 120 iron ingots, basically, instead. That's the only difference it gives you. Plus, it gives you molten slag. The molten slag can then go into sulfur or CO2 or coal. Uh, not, uh, it goes into, what's it called? Goes into, goes into cold slag.
Uh, do we have coal ingots? No, not what I know of yet. I've not, I've not even touched the coal. Right now, I'm going to be mixing this coal into uh, a solidifier, which... No, not a solidifier, a blast furnace, which li goes in with uh, liquid iron, molten iron. The tier three miners, the tier three modules, the molten module, or a crusher on a pure node. I don't even do the math. <laughs> I don't even want to do the math. <laughs> Yeah, but this uh, this mod is wild, and to think because the game's not even finished yet, this mod's not, this mod's not finished, um, and this mod is still going to get recipe changes, especially when it comes to uh, the names as well. Even the names are changing, so it won't be stereotype anymore, and sapphirite and stuff. They're all getting a name change. Do, 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 do. Just realized as well, I should really put this to a Mark 1 just to save myself some uh, the simple plate, the simple conveyor b uh, belts. Because this is only bringing in 60, this line, and it's going to get merged with two other 30s, which will then give me the uh, 120. Mine is cricket. Oh, yeah. Every time you put one down, it you, you just get the power outage sound. Yeah. <clears throat> you also get it if you... Uh, you'll get it mul multiple times if you put a miner down. So if you, if you start or if you load your save and you hear it straight away, it's more than likely you've got a miner down that doesn't have a, a node on it. A uh, power node. Na 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 na. I'm in an awkward position here. Jump up here instead.
No, 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 no. Oh, you're just a little bit too high. You little shit. You are being a little pain in my ass today, aren't you? Welcome back, Theater. Spent hours placing the 33 miners and the Sturtite nodes in the desert biome. Uh, they are just in place. They don't get power yet. But I like the game now. Just total chaos. Power down sounds bloody. Going crazy. Do, do, do. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Craw of Crawls? Doing good, my new friend, for YouTube content, uh, which brought me here. How are you doing, good sir? I'm doing, I'm doing, doing all right. Just kind of working on technically episode nine of the YouTube series right now. Uh, I think it was episode five that got released yesterday. So, what you're seeing now is a little bit of behind the scenes 
of uh of the prep building of what's happening but yeah we're kind of working on tier three and four stuff which i don't even think i've unlocked tier three and four stuff in the series yet right i think yesterday's video was uh power steam power right so yeah you're you're like the video i'm working on at the minute won't be going out for like another two weeks so steam steam dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm getting so much hate in the YouTube comments of just people um, hating on me because they've downloaded this mod now after seeing my playthrough. And then they're just like, I fucking hate you now because I've just spent the last six hours trying to get stuff to build just the Xeno Basher. <laughs> and then they've just got to oil and they're like, yeah, I just can't comprehend the, 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 the scale of what you've got to do and keep on track on top of your factories in this mod. Like, I... I'm, don't, don't... Don't look at me. What is all of this? Yeah. Like, I've not even looked at oil yet, and I can already imagine what it's possibly going to be like. Because oil is probably going to... It wouldn't surprise me if diesel's a thing in this, and petroleum and all that kind of stuff you know what i mean like it's gonna go a little crazy when it comes to oil and i can i can only imagine the amount of pipes we are going to need have you found the basher i've not unlocked the basher yet i've not unlocked it this isn't exactly a play along series now is it <laughs> uh oh what's going on here wait Okay, that's just a it's just a, a bugged belt. Yeah, it's a bug belt. Just a bug belt. I think uh I think our goal is like this video is to show off a little bit of steel. The next video is complete the process of um the pipes and the screws. And then the video that is attached to will probably be sort of brass um, and start bringing the copper over to that building. And then the video after that, uh, well, at the end of the brass video, we can look at adding the hypertubes, uh, unlocking the hypertubes because we need brass for hypertubes, right? And um, then we can start getting hypertubes connected from here to over there via cannons, probably more than likely. Actually, no. Oh, yeah, we could play around with jelly pads. And hyper cannons, I guess. You know. You just ended the C <laughs> social lives of the entire I'm sorry. It just a bit since I've been playing this now, it's crazy the amount of YouTube videos I've now seen on this mod. That I've just recently been coming out. Um and then also um some Twitch streams. I know there was I think there's a one there was a one female streamer I saw playing it before I started playing it. Um, now you've got all the creators working on videos and streaming it, which is kind of cool to see. Um, scrolls. Scrolls. Imagine those with Stream Deck, Social Life Wrecked, and don't even, uh, with Steam Deck, sorry. Life Wrecked and don't even have the time. <laughs> 80 hours per week. Everyone needs something to do before 1.0. Yeah. True. Uh, S'mores Pops. I, I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name. But I was like, I need some satisfactory content before 1.0.
Um... To be honest, I might as well just get some more. I want to tickle it back on my throat. Get some more concrete. Uh, what else could I do with? What have I got coming building up? I've got lifts. I've got solidifiers. Have I got everything to do with solidifiers I can make? Um, no, I need lead plates. Um... What else have I got to build? Lead plate pipes. I need pipes to build. Um, let's get some more copper pipes. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, probably a pump. We're fine for that. Um... Junction. Let's just put smart exploders in there. We've got the AI limiters. Got majority of you. Um, I think we're okay. Iron rods. Iron rods, iron rods, iron rods. Do, 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 do. Okay. Is that a convey whole wall? Yes. Yeah. So like if you put a wall down, this is something that should be in vanilla game. I'm hoping it is for 1.0. And you can place a convey a whole wall wherever you want on the wall. Just like a, a pipe hole wall, you know? And you can place that down there. And place one down here. And get a conveyor belt to come out. Blah, 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 blah. This, what, this needs to be in vanilla. I think this has been talked about so many times over the years since pipe hole walls have been introduced. He's like, why is conveyor hole things like this? Not like this. All right, time to get back. Don't you need brass for one of the buildings needed to make steel? Yeah, we need uh, the air purifier for brass. Uh, to, for, uh, to make molten steel, we need the uh, air collector. Right here. I think this mod is more realistic and more better than the vanilla. And it's kind of a problem for me now as I was waiting for 1.0 for years. Getting back to the vanilla version will be disappointing even. I don't think it will be. Um, I don't think it will be. I think it's... Uh Like I've got, I've still got, you know, so much love for the uh, original. What I'm just hoping for in regards to new possible features is that it's banking on mods as a reliable source of work for uh, features, which I, I doubt it. Highly doubt it. Hi, Gouda. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred biddies, man. <laughs> 